with coffee. Then the presentations in 3D. Started with a blimp. It's creative shrimp. Hello, what's up? Lab here, and you're watching the Creative Stream vlog. Today we're gonna be talking about nothing in particular because, first of all, I bought Boneworks and a VR headset, and I tried to move in in this virtual space while sitting in my chair, and my inner ear just told me to f basically because I got motion sick instantly. I was told by kind people that I should develop the VR wings or I would say VRV Breezy, like Mantis Shrimp. Uh, Mantis Shrimp packs a punch, a visual punch, because these crustaceans have 16 photoreceptors compare it to just four photoreceptors of humans and you will know uh, what is the most advanced visual system on planet earth and that's pretty much the origin story of creative shrimp and how we came up with this name because i usually tell a bunch of different stories regarding our origin uh, maybe it's something else maybe uh, it was just stupid enough to be picked uh, 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 and be put on a banner, you know, creative shrimps. Mantis shrimps are capable of spectral tuning, um, impressive range of wavelengths. They are able to see from far red to ultraviolet. Imagine that. Uh, so mantis shrimps are naturally creative. And <coughs> thank you very much. <laughs> And that leads me to my next thoughts, is that creative shrimp is by definition, it's inherently experimental. Uh, because you cannot be creative without exploring the undercurrents, uh, the hidden truth of what it is being creative. I mean, that's usually we procrastinate, well, playing Diablo and stuff like that, but sometimes we procrastinate by uh, experimenting with interesting stuff like photogrammetry, like stop-motion animation and other off-tangent things that aren't directly related to computer graphics, but just like Blender itself, just like this favorite software of ours, we blend in different things, different creative strategies to find something new and something noteworthy and, and something interesting. And one of the things that I want to show with you today is this thing that actually is a byproduct of our procrastination. It's a stop motion pack of animated digits. Imagine, um, imagine an animated font, but composed only of digits, you know, it's not a fully fledged product or something like that. Uh, but today I want to introduce Nick and Eugene to you. Actually, Nick is standing right behind the camera right now. He's the camera person. He's in charge of filming creative shrimp blogs and stuff like that. Uh, he's a part of a team and Eugene does post processing. If you have seen the trailer for the hard surface modeling course and you and you have seen these liquid effects, it's Eugene. It's pretty much yeah, so the guys behind the camera deserve more attention and we decided that it would be cool to bring them out of the shadows and do something together. Actually, it would be pretty fun and stop motion monster pack was something that we decided would be pretty cool to make together. And uh, this is something that Rodic was also helping us to realize and to actually make because stop motion is something that uh, Rodic is fond of and uh, yeah, we decided why not we can definitely experiment with it uh, Under the banner of creative shrimp experimental because as you know with 80 bros We started the company and now we can use it as a sort of a music label We can produce and publish stuff. We can do exciting things and why not use this possibility we thought and basically with this project We're helping folks from Brest to get a test of uh, teamwork and what is it like to release some kind of a product online even if it's a um, free product or free to pay or freemium or any other form of i totally lost a train of thought because of the smell of this ginger tea it's not even coffee i'm, I'm so excited to actually to try something new it's it's kind of creative shrimp experimental we are drinking ginger tea today what is this stop-motion monster pack 
its animated digits, handcrafted actually the most popular digits from 0 all the way to 9. So let's watch a teaser. Personally, I think it... Excuse me. That. So feel free to get it for free, but I know that many of you are crazy enough to get the guys a cup of coffee or two. And don't hesitate to do it, because they will be just amazed. So it's nice to wander off tangent once in a while, to experiment with VR, and I'm deeply excited to try new things and probably even show something to you guys in this amazing new virtual reality format. And how many of you guys actually have headsets? Feel free to drop a comment below and just tell us, do you have a headset? And if yes, what is it? That was Gleb Alexandrov for CreativeShrimp.com, drink more coffee or ginger tea or whatever. Yay for diversity and for off-tangent creative thoughts that sometimes come to our minds in totally unpredicted situations. My name was Gleb. Oh, f so yeah, I'm definitely Gleb. You're watching the Creative Shrimp vlog on creativeshrimp.com. Stay creative, drink more coffee, and we will change the world of computer graphics. We don't know how, but maybe we will.